Hey, what's going on guys? Wildcat here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a Q&A. The other day on Twitter I asked you guys to tweet me some questions. My Twitter's on the screen right there. For those of you guys who don't follow me, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you're, you're, you're making a grave error there, my friend. I tweet a lot of updates, I tweet a lot of funny stuff. Just generally keep you guys informed. All of my friends also have Twitters too, so it's worth making an account, following us and all your other favorite YouTubers. So uh, yeah, definitely definitely be sure to do that. But yeah, like I said, this video is going to be a Q&A. Uh, the gameplay you're watching in the background is Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex First Assault. This is an online FPS multiplayer game. It's free to play. It's currently in early access. If you guys want to check that out, click the link down below in the description. Go over there and check it out. Uh, it's a really cool game. It's really fun. I played it on stream. This is actually footage from the stream. Uh, I couldn't use any other footage. I wanted to record separate footage, but my computer is messing up and one of my hard drives is failing. And unfortunately, it's the hard drive with all my Steam games on it, so I can't play any games on Steam right now, which sucks. Uh, but yeah, that's the footage for this game. Uh, it's a really cool game. You get your special abilities and then you can do this thing called skill sync with your teammates. And your special abilities work together. You can be like invisible or like boosted armor all kinds of cool stuff. But yeah, it's really cool. There's a whole bunch of different game modes. My favorite game mode is Team Deathmatch. That's the one I played pretty much here. There's also Demolition and Terminal Capture. That's an early access anyway. Uh, like I said, if you want to pre-order an early access pack, Check the link down below in the description. It launched on December 14th, so it's all good to go now. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to Nexon for sponsoring this video and let me play their game. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into the question, shall we? All right, so the first question comes in from James Reynolds, and he's asking the question on everybody's mind. What brand of toilet paper do you use? I personally prefer to use Charmin Ultra Strong. It's my favorite. You know, it's nice and strong, so I can really get in there and really do a good job, you know. But it's not... Too, it's it, it's soft enough that it doesn't hurt your butthole, you know? It's perfect. I love it. Matic651 asks, what was the first video game you have ever played and what was the first console you ever owned? Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the first console I owned was a Super Nintendo. And I don't know about the first game, but I was really young and my dad and I would play Super... I think it was Super Mario World. I wouldn't actually play, I think he would just set a controller next to me that wasn't plugged in and I thought I was playing while he played, but yeah. That's, I remember playing Super Nintendo. I also remember Paperboy was one of the first games I played. Um, but yeah, I know exactly what console, don't know exactly what game. Super Nintendo, shit was fun. Gay Jess, are you going to do a best of 2015? Uh, what he's talking about there is like a best of video of all the videos I uploaded in 2015. Take all the best moments from them and put them in one big video and upload that. Uh, I haven't thought about it. I know people do it. I'm not sure if I'll do it. The last time I did a big video like that was my 1 million subscriber montage. So maybe I will do it. Let me know if that's something you want to see. God, I'm just asking you guys to post shit in the comments all the time, man. Just let me know. Let me know. I could do it. It would take a lot of time, but it, it might be interesting. So we'll see. Kyron Games, Kieran Games. I don't know if I said your name right. Sorry, dude. He asks, What is your opinion on the new Star Wars movie? I thought it was awesome. I also thought it was awesome. I really did enjoy the movie. Uh, I just recently went back and rewatched the original trilogy uh, for Star Wars. I haven't seen the prequels, and from what I'm hearing, I should probably just keep it that way. Um, but yeah, I think the movie's really, really good. It has a little things that you can nitpick on, but overall, I sat through the entire like two and a half hour movie and thoroughly enjoyed it all the way through. Can't wait for the next episode. So, yeah, I thought it was really, 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 really good. Joshua asks, "How did you meet your friends? Meet your friends. Meet." Me. Uh, but for real, to answer your question as quickly as I can, because it is a super long story, I started my channel four years ago, uh, September 25th of 2011, I believe, and I believe Evan started his channel about 10 days before that, and he was searching on YouTube looking up people's first videos, and I had uploaded my first video, mine was one of the ones he stumbled upon, he sent me a message to say, hey dude, I like your channel, we should work together, you know, we should play games together, we should upload together, that kind of stuff. So yeah, four years ago I met Evan, through Evan I met... Brock and Big Jiggly Panda, and then later on down the line through Evan, who met Delirious. We met Delirious, basically, Nogla, Mini, all those guys, 407, everybody, and we continue to meet more and more people every day. So, yeah, it's a long story, but that, that's a quick synopsis of it. Super Sexy Bob asks, do you ever consider going back to college in the future? Now, some of you guys may or may not know, uh, the last couple years, or pretty much my entire YouTube career, other up until about a year ago, I was doing college as well as YouTube and working a part-time job. And then I quit the part-time job to focus on YouTube and school. And then I slowly took less and less classes from school. And then about a year ago, I decided that I'm just gonna not go to college for now and focus on YouTube. Um, I do consider going back to college sometime, but YouTube honestly is pretty much my dream job. It's something that I really wanted to do, making videos, being creative. 
uh, especially with video production because that was something I was super interested in. Having that as my job, like why, why do I need to go to school if I've got the job I really, really want now? Also, you know, it's no telling how long YouTube will last, so it makes more sense to focus on YouTube now while it's here and doing very well than to focus on college now and try and do YouTube after where it may not be around or it may not be as good. Uh, so yeah, I do plan on going to college once this YouTube thing, you know, if YouTube doesn't evolve into something else for me or if it just dies out, I'll go back to college. But until then, we're going to stick with this YouTube thing because I really, really enjoy it. Jasmine asked a question that kind of ties in. She says, what would you be doing in life if YouTube didn't exist? If YouTube didn't exist, I would probably be finishing up school about now because a lot of my friends who went to school have graduated. Um, I'd probably still be working the job I was working, which was security. It wasn't a bad job. Uh, it was pretty good for my first job, but... Yeah, I'd probably be finishing up school about now, looking for a job in, I don't know, computer science or engineering, whatever I finally decided my degree to be. I changed my major like three times, as most people do, but yeah, so something like that. I'd, be, I'd probably be looking for a job right now. <laughs> Daniel just says, Kelly is cool. Kelly is cool. For those of you guys who don't know who Kelly is, Kelly is my girlfriend, and uh, yeah, she's pretty cool. Daniel, Daniel's got the right idea, okay? Becca asks, how did you and Kelly come up with Kino's name? Honestly, it's the best. For those of you guys who don't know who Kino is, Kino is my little Dalmatian puppy. He's not quite a puppy anymore. He's getting pretty big, but yeah, we got him about a year ago, eight months ago, I think, nine months ago. I don't know. We got him a while ago, and I decided to name him Kino because I wanted to name him something that was video game related, and I was really having trouble. And then I and then I thought of Kino because of the zombies map Kino Der Toten, and I just thought Kino sounded really good for a dog's name, and it, it fits him. It suits him, and I really, really like it, and a lot of people, every time somebody hears it, they really like it. But yeah, that's the background behind it. I named him after Kino Der Toten, basically. The, the zombies map for Black Ops 1. <laughs> but I think it's fucking sick, so you can hate if you want, bitch. Luis or Lewis Johnson asks, are you going to do another GoPro video with your dirt bike slash ATV? Uh, it is an ATV, and as of right now, I don't really plan to do any more, because the ATV is in Tennessee, where my parents live. I don't have it here, and I haven't ridden in a long time, but... If you guys haven't seen any of those videos, I'll try and link them down below in the description. You can go check those out. Uh, yeah, I used to go pretty hard on a on my four-wheeler, but yeah, as of right now, I don't have any plans to. Hi, Gammy S. Are you ever going to do a setup video? Uh, I do actually plan on doing a setup video sometime, but I am going to be moving here in the next few months, probably. Sometime next spring, I'm going to be moving. And uh, I think once I move, I'll set up a proper office and decorate it all fancy. Then maybe then I'll do a setup video. As of right now, my setup's not really all that fancy. Pretty cool, but nothing special. Uh, Cameron asks, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? So, I've done a lot of embarrassing shit, as most people have. Um, one that stands out to me in particular was one time in school, in high school that is, I was in my English class, and I think they were reading some Shakespeare play or something, and I, I don't know what happened, I don't know if I stayed up too late the night before, but I was tired as shit, so I fell asleep in class while everybody was reading Shakespeare. And then, while I was sleeping, I farted and it made a noise so loud I woke myself up. So I farted loud enough to wake myself up, the whole class stared at me, I was like drooling, everybody knew I was asleep, and I just ripped ass, and even the teacher, like, yeah, I don't remember what he said, but he made some comment. <laughs> Yeah, that was, it was pretty embarrassing, but it was also kind of funny, so like it wasn't it wasn't too bad, you know, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty embarrassing. Julie asks, what makes YouTube most enjoyable for you? Uh, there's several things that make YouTube super enjoyable for me. Uh, one is the freedom, you know, if I want to take a day off and go do something awesome, go spend my time, go spend time with my girlfriend, go do something I enjoy, I can go and do that. Uh, if there's a day I'm feeling super motivated, I can record a bunch of videos, edit a video, do a whole bunch of really productive stuff and... Yeah, and then there's also going to events and meeting my friends that I've become best friends with and known online. You know, I get to go and see them in real life every now and then and hang out, and it's super fun. I get to meet you guys at events. There's, there's a million things, but I, I love YouTube. It's awesome, and I really thank you guys for supporting me and getting me to where I am now. And, uh, yeah, we're almost, we're gonna be at 4 million subscribers soon, which is almost 5 million, which is almost 10, which is almost 100 million, so... Yeah, I mean, we're closing in on 100 million anytime soon, but yeah, yeah. thank you guys for your support, for real. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to click that like button, leave me some comments down below, answering all the questions that I've asked you guys, that you've asked me. That's really weird, but yeah, that's kind of how it happened. Uh, thank you once again to Nexon for sponsoring the video. If you guys want to check out Ghost in the Shell, click the link down below in the description and pre-order an early access pack, all that good stuff. I'm going to go now. It's, uh, it's, it's 9 a.m., and uh, I, I have stuff I got to do today because, you know, it's almost Christmas time. So, yeah, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. If you celebrate, you know, the your dog's nuts getting cut off, 
Uh, whatever you celebrate, uh, just go and have a fucking great time with that. Uh, I'm going to go now because I'm just talking nonsense. So, bye. <laughs>